Hey, welcome back. So today I'll be showing y'all how I do my color, deep condition, trim, and silk blowout from start to finish. And I'll also be giving you a few pointers on how to repair dry hair. So I'm using the Kimra Clear Demi Permanent Color. And this basically just acts as a gloss for my hair because this summer, oh my God, my hair got so dried out from the sun, got, definitely got bleached. So I'm using this to like seal my cuticle down and protect my hair from the sun. So to start, y'all already know I'm a Design Essentials girl. So I'm using the Oat Protein Henna Shampoo, and it's just deep, deeply cleanses my hair, removing the dirt, product buildup, oils, and all that jazz. Because I had my hair in braids for like a week and a half, wearing wigs and stuff, so it's really oily, really nasty and dirty. So I clean my hair about two times with this, and then I go on with the Almond and Avocado Shampoo, and this is a really great moisturizer shampoo, y'all. I I love it. I've been using it ever since I first tried it and it just smells so good. It's super moisturizing. And so this, what this does is just restores the moisture back to my hair after it's all stripped out and stuff from the deep cleansing shampoo. I'm just blotting my hair a little bit dry and then applying my color. I go section by section and I just run my fingers through it to, you know, make it make sure it gets through all my hair strands and then I let this sit for about 25 minutes. So now it's time to deep condition. I'm using the Almond and Avocado Conditioner and I'll also apply this section by section, making sure it's getting on all of my hair. And yes, look at that shrinkage, girl. I cannot wait to straighten it and see my growth. But yeah, I'm just combing it through, making sure it's getting everywhere. And just a quick tip, if your hair is like spongy like mine, I make sure my hair is like soaking wet while I'm applying my conditioner. That way the conditioner can uh, get all, you know, get all the way through there and I don't have to use as much product. So another tip, if you don't have like a steamer or hooded dryer at home, you can do a hot towel treatment. So you basically just put it under super hot water, put that on your head and put another cap on. And this basically just acts as like a mini steam treatment. So I left that on for about 30 minutes. I rinsed it out and now I'm about to go ahead and blow dry my hair. I'm using the um, Design Essentials HCO blow drying lotion. It's like a um, leave-in conditioner, a heat protectant, and a blow drying lotion. So it's the bomb.com. I really love this stuff. And instead of going right ahead and blow drying my hair this time, I'm actually gonna let it air dry. One, because it was super late and I was tired, ready to go to bed. And two, because I just found that it's a lot easier for me to blow dry my hair this way. Just making sure my hair is detangled and a little bit more stretched out just has really saved me a lot of time with the blow dryer because I hate blow drying my hair like oh my god my arms be getting tired girl I be sweating so <laughs> this is just a lifesaver just kind of letting my hair you know air dry for a while So this is something I just started doing. I put duck lips at my roots and this just helps it to stretch out a little bit more while it's air drying. 
y'all i just absolutely love this her giving her headband for night it's just easy to plop on and you ain't got to tie a scarf and stuff like that and it has that silk inside which really protects your hair so it's the morning time now i'm about to go ahead and blow dry i get so many questions about what blow dryer i use here it is it's the silver bird kind of pro i've been using this blow dryer for years now like it's not the same blow dryer but um i've been using the same brand for years like ever since i started in a salon which was 2013 so yeah it's been a great blow dryer i really recommend that you purchase it i've got mine from sally's it was maybe like 40 dollars i might have caught it on sale for like 30 but it's really inexpensive it works great a lot of professionals use it and it's just an all-around great blow dryer so I just want to talk to y'all about my dry, broken off hair. It's just been through it these past few months. So I just moved to a new state and the climate here is totally different. So the sun, it's been like, oh my God, sun exposure like crazy. So the sun definitely bleached my hair. As you can see, it's like super brown and it's just, my cuticle is like open and exposed. And the water here just smells like chlorine like they put a lot of bleach in the water down here so that's definitely played a part in my uh, dryness and breakage and another factor is just me not moisturizing my hair as great as I can especially at night like I have an issue with scarves y'all like that's why I love that headband because it's so easy to just remember to put it on but that's definitely played a part in my breakage especially at my ends because I won't moisturize it well enough that's something I'm working on y'all I know I'm gonna get it together so I'm going in with my Silk by Design Essentials and I'm just putting that on my hair to go ahead and get it silked out. So with my silk blowouts, what I do first is I just go through one or two passes to get it silked out. Then I'll trim my ends because I like to trim my hair while it's straight. That way I can get a nice precise cut. And then I'll go back in and style my hair. So a lot of people also ask me what flat irons I use. I use the Hair Art H3000. That is a tongue twister, but <laughs> I, I've been using these for a while now like since 2013 and they work really really great now my flat irons in particular that I have seen like a performance change and they kind of like I don't know they just seem like they going out or losing their little spark I'm not sure if that's because I purchased them on Amazon or what but um, I do need to go ahead and give me some new ones because I have noticed them like kind of dying out <laughs> recently but um yeah I love this flat iron like I said I've been using the same brand since 2013 it just works really great for me it's a ceramic plate so it gets my hair nice and smooth without you know a really high heat I like ceramic plates because it keeps the it keeps a nice even temperature that way you can avoid your plates getting too hot and you overburning your hair or something like that so yeah I really love these irons like I said I do need to go ahead and get some new ones but they work really great so I do this routine like every two to three months, my whole silk blowout and trim. And under every silk blowout video, I get questions about heat damage. So I did make a whole video about heat damage and explaining to you guys that it's not bad to put heat to your hair. So if you want to go check that out, I'll definitely link it above and below. But yeah, if you're getting it done correctly, you do not have to worry about experiencing heat damage or none of that. So um, if you do do your own hair at home, I you know highly urge you to follow these steps and invest in some professional products, a good flat iron, a good blow dryer, all of that stuff, or just take that trip to the salon to get it done. It's definitely worth it to um, you know have a peace of mind about doing it the right way. If y'all hair is looking like this, like static, even after you straighten it, <laughs> then you definitely need a trim. My last one was three months ago, so it's definitely time to do another one. 
So now I'm about to do my trim. A lot of people also ask me how to do your own trim at home. Now listen, listen, listen. I just always recommend going to a professional to get your trims done because I don't even like trimming my own hair, y'all. Like, oh my God, I hate it. Especially now that my hair has gotten a little bit longer. It's just really hard to see back there. It's really hard to like really get all of my split ends, especially in the back. And y'all, I kind of, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of jacked my cut up. So I had to go a little shorter than I uh, originally planned. But I still want to show you guys how I do my own trim. So yeah, I decided to take it even shorter just because I wanted to get rid of all those layers in my hair. I never really liked the fact that I had layers, but it was just kind of growing that way. So I went with it, but I decided to take it up a notch just to give me more of like a blunt looking cut. And it definitely looked a lot fuller and healthier after I cut it shorter. So to go back and style my hair, I decided to use my Argan oil. You can find this at Walmart, it's like five or six dollars. And I decided to use this because it's a little bit heavier than the silk. And I needed something heavier for my hair just because of how dry it's been. I needed something to like seal it a little bit better. So I'm going through it. I'm also using a different flat iron. These are the PYT flat irons, y'all. I love these flat irons. I don't know why they just been sitting at the back of my uh, station, but I love these irons. I don't. I got these a while ago, so I don't remember if they're like tourmaline or ceramic or whatever they use. But they really work great. They also have an ion setting to where you can turn it on and um, get your hair more smooth without the frizz. And to get that real cute voluminous bang, you just want to curl your hair going backwards and look at that bam so i'm really happy with the way my hair turned out i'm happy with my how my cut turned out i hope you enjoyed this video as well if you did make sure you give me a little thumbs up and i will talk to you guys in another video